Scorpio, welcome back to Shea C. Tarot. If you're returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. I truly appreciate you all being here. I am a fellow Scorpion, so <laughs> I had a request to do another Scorpio video already. So I'm going to go ahead and honor that request because tomorrow I will not be able to do any readings probably whatsoever. So here I am. I definitely want to get this reading done for all of us. So I hope you enjoy it. Remember, for those of you that are brand new, Okay, you always take what resonates and you leave what doesn't. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, it may not be your reading. Check out your moon and rising signs in the playlists. Okay, I have a list of playlists there and you're welcome to check that out at your leisure. Okay, that may resonate for you. Sometimes my moon sign resonates more for me, but uh, it's usually the sun and moon that resonate for me, both of them. So check that out. And for those of you that are brand new, I'm doing a healing stone bracelet giveaway. These are authentic healing stones. They are handmade by myself. It's absolutely free. There's no purchase necessary. All I need you to do is like this video, subscribe. It's all free to do that. And it just allows the video to circulate so that others can hear these messages that are very beneficial. Most people find guidance from my messages as did I when I was going through a very rough time so it's very important for us to lift each other up and help each other out and and share these messages because if it's helping you then why not help others right and you can definitely do that by just following those simple steps that are absolutely free to you and it qualifies you every month to put your name in for this free bracelet giveaway it's my way of saying thank you i make all of these by hand this is the i am enough that's one of the most popular but i also have other popular ones there's amethyst on here citrine tiger's eye rose quartz smoky quartz uh, there's crystal there's carnelian there is jade uh, let me see what else do we have here we have lapis lace agate I could go on and on they they I picked out all the stones because they all have beneficial healing properties that are for your highest good so you get to choose your charm I also have mermaid kisses and starfish wishes here okay I think I might have just one of those left now the one I'm wearing is the uh, let your spirit soar can you see that Okay, that these are stainless steel, but I also have the love swans. I think I have one of those left. Anyways, if you do those things, like the Facebook page or leave a recommendation or go to Instagram, whatever you're more comfortable with, leave me a comment down below. If I don't know who you are, then I can't notify you as the winner. I announce the winner on Facebook and um, on YouTube as well. Go and check the previous winners on the Facebook page or YouTube if you like, whichever you like. And you can see who the previous winners were. And again, I pay shipping. I pay everything. I make the bracelet six and three, sorry, six inches to seven, three, seven inches, whatever you need your size to be between those sizes. Okay, let's get started. So I've got the 1960s deck and the 1970s deck joined together. The reason I do that is because it's been phenomenal seeing the energies come out sometimes double. Okay, which gives us that double clarification. So it's fantastic. Let's get started. Remember, everything's in divine timing. They're already dropping out for you. Look at that. First card out, Scorpio. We have the world card. This is major arcana for those of you that don't know. This means that something very significant is going on in our lives right now. This is about completion. This is about complete, completing karmic lessons in your life. The universe, you know, they send us on a journey called life. And there's certain lessons that we don't realize it or we don't pay attention to it. We're so busy living day to day, but this is about completing these lessons and, and doing them karmically correct. And when the universe sees that you have done this and you have done it karmically correct, meaning you haven't hurt anybody to go on this journey, you've done it right. And if you haven't done it right, then the universe keeps making you do it over and over again until you learn those lessons. We just, again, a lot of us don't realize that unless you're spiritual and you kind of understand how this works. We kind of ignore it. Again, we just go to on to our daily busy lives. But this is about completing this journey and doing it well. And then the universe likes to gift us for those things that we have learned. Okay, it's kind of like I like to think of it as going to school and the teachers teaching us. And and if we don't do our math questions right or our spelling test right, we have to go back and do it again, right, till we get it right. And we can either choose to do that or choose not to do that. Same thing. Only these are life lessons, very important lessons. And if we've done them correctly, the universe rewards us with gifts. So let's see where we're going with that. That can actually mean that there is a physical journey in store for you as well. I could be picking up a love interest energy of yours around you or somebody close to you. It could be anybody. Generally, 
mine end up being love readings and I generally pick up your person's energy, but you know, take it, you, you could all be different. Remember, it's a general read. So that's a world card, and that could be a Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, ourselves. This could totally represent us or Leo. Hello, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. You could be involved with another water sign, or this is you going through a period of completion. You've completed a journey, and so now the gifts are going to start coming for us. Oh, wouldn't that be just beautiful? Thank you, universe. That would be fantastic. Let's go. Let's keep going. You may be actually thinking about traveling or this is you completing those life lessons. I'm feeling we have definitely done that. Okay, let's clarify the world card here, please, for Scorpio. Uh, I will mention for those of you that are brand new, if you'd like a personal reading more geared towards your energy, you can definitely check me out at shacy.com. That's S-H-A-S-I-E.com. That'll be at the end of the video as well or else you can go down in the description box, okay? Wow. Ooh, this is beautiful. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, wishes coming true. Okay, so now this is what I was saying. Once we've karmically completed this cycle, these lessons in our life, we are rewarded for our efforts, wish fulfillment. Because we have done everything correctly, Scorpio, we are moving toward wish fulfillment. So far, our cards have looked really awesome. But I'm not going to speak too soon. We have to keep going. <laughs> oh, Knight of Cups. This could be you. It could be us. Okay, because this is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. But again, as I tell all of my viewers, it doesn't matter. It's about the energy of this person. Okay, female, male, water sign, doesn't matter. It's This is the most romantic night of the deck. Anybody can take on emotion. Anybody can take on being angry and not showing any emotion. Anybody can take on the role of being fire and being choked and being upset. Right? You get it, right? Okay, so this is about someone coming in with an offer, a very romantic offer, offering you their cup of love. Okay, let's go out. I want to take you out. You may have been wishing for somebody or they've been wishing for you. Okay. Your wish is coming true. That's what I feel. Maybe somebody that you've been waiting for asks you out on a date, okay? Or let's take this relationship to the next level. They want to offer you something, a gift, a date, a something, something emotional here. Could be you to them or them to you. We are going to keep going. Wow. That is beautiful. Let's keep going. Clarify, I don't get a chance. Oh boy, but us Scorpios, just we don't trust because maybe you've given us a reason not to. <laughs> just saying, as I say to all my Scorpio viewers, we definitely give 500% and we only expect our person to give 100. I don't think that's asking too much. Once we, we love you, we give you our soul. How we hand you our soul on a silver I would rather say platinum platter, don't we? We give our all. So for you cross watchers, if your Scorpio is a bit guarded right now or protecting themselves, their heart, it's because they've been hurt before and they're just kind of, there's still kind of room to squeeze through there. You see, there's still room to squeeze through there. So don't give up. You know, our uh, Scorpios like to see that you're willing to fight for us as much as, you know, you like to feel like they're willing to fight for you. Okay, it's a two-way street with a Scorpio. So if this is us, Scorpio, if this is you, viewers, then this is you guarding yourself and protecting yourself and not trusting this offer, okay? But, you know, we'll keep going. We're going to see where we're going from here. And it can be your person. You know, maybe you're offering them and they're, they're guarding or blocking you. It could definitely go both ways to remember, okay? Clarify, I don't get the words out of my mouth and they're dropping out. Here we go. Now, again, these cards are 60 years old and 50 years old as of this year now, 2020. So I, I just love these cards. They're, they're just, they jump out at me here. Knight of Swords. Somebody is, I feel, wanting to rush in quite brash. You've got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. It's like they want to run in and they want to say, I want to take you out or let's go out or let's, you know, it, it's that kind of energy. It's like this person is in a battle here. It's almost like they're in a rush. We're going to keep going. Maybe they're in a rush because they feel like you're guarded. Or this, again, could be you. Clarify the Knight of Swords here, please, for Scorpio. Wow, did you see that? <laughs> they want to rush into you with some good news. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. This is a messenger. Page of Wands. 
okay? We've got here Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And we have Leo, again, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So again, somebody I feel is wanting to rush in with some good news, but you may be guarding or protecting yourself or blocking this person or vice versa. So this could be news regarding your wish fulfillment. Somebody's completed a difficult cycle here and they're ready for this new journey. Okay, and a gift is trying, I, I feel a gift is trying to come in towards you, your wish fulfillment, something you've hoped for, and maybe you're not trusting it. And somebody's wanting to rush in to give this news. It's good news. Okay, this is a messenger of good news. So let's go ahead and clarify. Page of Wands. Wow, did you see that? I just love these cards. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this came out in pre-shuffle too. Tell me that's an accident. There you go. Wow, Scorpio, look what we got. So somebody may have refused your offer before and it caused you heartbreak and now they want to reunite with you, quite possibly twin flame energy here. And you may not be trusting it. You may be guarded, okay? Maybe that's why they want to rush in because they know you're kind of guarded or this could be them again, you know? Maybe maybe uh, you refused them or they refused you and it caused, overall there has been heartbreak here. So somebody is not trusting this offer. Okay, maybe, you know, you or the universe offered them. This is a cup being offered by the universe. Again, this gift, this wish fulfillment. Perhaps they weren't recognizing this gift before or you weren't. And now it's being offered again. And somebody here is blocking it or not trusting it. But again, there's wiggle room through here. I say there's wiggle room. If somebody comes to you correct or vice versa, right? There was definitely heartbreak here. It can be third party third party heartbreak okay there are three swords through that heart but it doesn't have to be it can be overall heartbreak in anything it can be distance caused heartbreak it can be another person it can be a family member a child it can be you know somebody had to go off to uh you know be in the army or the navy i just saw 12 12 when i said that so maybe some of you are have had to go into um service you know uh, it could be that somebody had to go away to work somewhere overall. Anything that caused heartbreak or distance or something to interfere with your relationship. You get what I'm saying. Somebody was focused maybe on the past and not ready to look at the future because of this heartbreak. But now I feel like they've completed whatever it was that they needed to close out in their life. And now they're ready to charge forward here. And I feel like they want to offer you their cup reconcile with you if it's somebody that you already knew or this is somebody brand new um, that you've been thinking about they've been your wish perhaps or vice versa four of wands is also about um, engagement we do have the knight of cups and the four of wands they may like want to you know you they might want to offer you engagement Let's get married or let's get engaged, okay? This is what they call the marriage card too. Again, twin flame energy here. That is beautiful. And this is your wish fulfillment, our wish fulfillment. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's keep going. I am going to do an extended on this, of course, like I always do. But for those of you that are brand new that aren't aware, I extend this reading i continue it on vimeo so if it, if this resonates for you and you want to hear more you definitely can it's a small purchase price so check it out the link will be down below in the description box as well as in the comment section and usually <laughs> they go way over the 15 minutes so you might want to get comfortable it's hard for me not to go full blown into it it just is okay so i'm definitely gonna find out the mutual energies between the two of you in a minute using my shacy prism deck we're going to use the Enchanted Tarot. I've had these for 30 years. I'm going to check those out in the continuation on Vimeo. I'm also going to use the Fairy cards. These are Tarot deck. That's by Rodley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. They're awesome. I'm also going to do Pick a Card with the Romance Angels. We'll see if there's any love messages you need to hear. And some guidance messages from the universe, which are always very helpful. Let's keep going here. I want to clarify who was guarding themselves here with that Four of Cups that wanted to come out twice like I said earlier look at this look they're just you know and normally I wouldn't accept them but because these cards are so old and the way they drop out I trust them 
So maybe there was just no equal give and take before. And now sixes are about getting out of conflict. Okay, this is moving forward. This is moving to a better place, finding more balance, finding more peace overall. So somebody is feeling more balanced, I feel, and maybe ready to give properly, equally, an equal give and take. That's how I'm feeling. Okay, they may be coming in to tell you they have completed something difficult here. This could involve physical travel. Look, yes, wow, look at that. They may have been previously married, committed, that could be. Or this could be that they want to, again, come forward with engagement or the next level with you. Again, Four of Wands, Hierophant, Knight of Cups. They may be ready to offer you commitment here. Seven of Swords, they may have been previously dishonest with you or they've had to be very quiet or they're just tiptoeing in towards you being very careful because they know that you're guarded or this could be you, okay? I'm feeling this is their energy. Like I said, I usually pick up theirs, but take it how it resonates for you. You're all going to be different, okay? I feel like maybe they're tiptoeing towards you because they know that you're guarded and they're just being very, very careful here. That could be. Or, again, you are being very careful. You may both be, look at this. See, Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana. The Hierophant's also major arcana. So there's major decisions going on here. This is major change. This is all about timing here. Divine timing at play. Twin Flame Energy, World Card. Karmic lesson completed, either with a previous partner or just lessons that needed to be learned by your person or by you or by both of you. Bringing about wish fulfillment now that these lessons have been learned and here is the change. Now, this wheel can spin in many different directions, but I feel this is in a really forward, positive way because we've got this messenger of good news here and the most romantic night of the deck. I feel that they want commitment, Scorpio. I do. I feel that they're tiptoeing. I mean, look at this guy. And again, it's not gender specific. It's a guy in the photo. He's tiptoeing, okay? He's kind of sneaking around at night. Maybe your person's kind of tiptoeing at night trying to figure things out. The six again of pentacles. This can be, I'm feeling here with all these cards together, that this is about an equal give and take. Perhaps they were only giving you crumbs before and now they're ready to even up, okay? You see the scales right there. They're ready to even this up, this relationship up. They're ready to move forward here. Change is coming. Lessons have been completed. Now we're meant to move forward in a positive direction. Let's get the mutual energies between you and your person here. For Scorpio and their love interest, please. Or significant other, please. Scorpio and their person, January 2020 control situation power back maybe somebody needed to get their positivity back their energy back their power back maybe before they were just in a kind of a an unhappy depressed state they needed to complete this cycle first again this is about you know refusing somebody's love this is refusing that gift from the universe see the double negative arms crossed legs crossed it's like no i can't accept this gift yet from the universe i'm not ready i'm focusing on the past i'm not ready to accept my future yet and i feel that's your person so again i have all the signs here on the table but especially uh taurus cancer scorpio pisces Leo, Aquarius, Taurus again, and uh, yeah, we have air energy as well. We have every sign here on the table, but those are the main ones. Let's get another mutual energy. So, you know, they may have needed to complete this cycle I'm feeling, this change needed to occur, and it's again, it was all about the timing. This is guided by the universe. Your person wasn't ready. They weren't seeing it. They weren't ready to see it, okay? Now I feel they are. They're ready to move forward. There is change coming. And that wheel's going to spin, but it's in divine timing when the universe says it's ready. When the universe feels they're ready. When the universe feels you're ready. And that's not necessarily going to be at the same time. It's never at the same time. Okay? I feel this is your wish fulfillment. And whether or not you choose to wait, that's entirely up to us as Scorpios, okay? Mutual energies, please, between Scorpio and their love interest. 
beautiful. <gasps> Talk about wish fulfillment. Yes, baby. Nine of cups to, do you know what this is? The whole enchilada. That's the 10 of cups. That's what I call, I want the whole enchilada. You're going from being single, wish fulfillment, to being in a commitment here. And that's exactly what I'm seeing. I feel that commitment is coming. Now, whether that's you presenting that to your person or them coming to you, I feel it's them coming to you. I feel that they're coming in very carefully because I feel that, you know, <laughs> somebody's guarding themselves here. There's wiggle room, but somebody's guarding themselves here just the same. Being careful. But there is news coming in, expect it. And it may happen all of a sudden. They may just suddenly rush in. Or they're thinking really fast. They're thinking really fast, but they're tiptoeing. Tiptoe, tiptoe, kind of like in the night. Trying to figure things out here. They're being care they're treading carefully. They don't want to make a mistake, I feel. Okay. Because they may have refused you before. The universe was offering them your cup. You were offering them your cup and they just weren't ready to see it. And I feel like now they're ready to give it to you, but they're being ever so careful because maybe they broke your heart, broke our heart. <laughs> um, whoever's heart, you broke their heart. Okay. But this is, <laughs> I'm telling you, the whole enchilada is coming in. This is definitely twin flame energy here with that four of wands, the hero font, the knight of cups, the wheel of fortune, the world card, and moving toward having it all. Again, this is, I want the whole enchilada card. Nine to ten of cups right here. That's having all of your wishes come true. That's the happy family, the happy life, the abundance. This is having and feeling contented all the way around. And it's coming. That's what I'm seeing and that's what I'm feeling. Okay. Let's go ahead into the extended I am going to definitely clarify, where is this Knight of Swords going? What is this good news about? We're going to clarify, okay? I'm going to try to see who's guarded here, and we definitely have to see the Seven of Swords. And how is this wheel going to spin here, okay? So I'm going to continue to use the 60 and 50-year-old uh, tarot cards, as well as the other decks I told you about. I'm also going to, I mean, I love these cards. They are so awesome. If you haven't ever seen these and you want to check them out, uh, I got mine on Amazon. I don't know if they're still available, but they're the Radley Valentine and Doreen Virtue. They have beautiful descriptions on the bottom. So we'll check those out in the extended. If this is where you leave me, I will see you again as soon as I can get another reading done for you, hopefully in a few days. But for those of you this resonated with and you want to go over on Vimeo to continue this there, I will see you there in a minute. I wish us all beautiful blessings. I feel like 2020 is going to be our year, Scorpio. I really do. For those of you interested in the bracelet stone giveaway, uh, check that out in the description box for further information. I will also pin that down in the comments below so you can check that out. But you must subscribe, which is free. Like this page. And, like this video, sorry. And anyways, the instructions are there if you're so interested. And check out the previous winners, okay? Thank you, Scorpio. I wish us all our wishes and dreams come true. Let's check out in the extended and see where we're going and see what the action being taken is. Namaste.